You know what the fuck it is. Easy boy, the goons. We're back for episode number three. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <clears throat> Last episode, we finished trial number one. Now it's time for trial number two. <clears throat> what depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me, do you? I guess. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. Hey, little Ace girl, we'll take a break for the day of sun. Is what that girl said, I'd stake my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve, calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Uh, about your case? Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl? I am sorry, I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me to never end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. Now practice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Fourteen inpatients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Uh, yes, yes, I heard you. I agree, it's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medication mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, now listen good, and yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash! Crying, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. Damn. Oh, we can see the bad bitch again. Hold on. God, look at those cheeks. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at the cheeks on her. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> That's right, about a year ago, the tabloid shows were talking about it. <clears throat> Fourteen victims of a medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Why would I... Now, I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me! I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? Well, that's simple, because of the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. You understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Uh, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Maya Fay, you know this girl, correct? Ugh, Maya, why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yeah, I mean, hey, wait a second here, I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard, it must be lonely for you. But what? wait, I'm not... She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Ah, uh, ew! Ew! Tab court record, our profiles. Oh, never mind. I mean, still you talking about her like that? And then again, then again, skip back two minutes. Shut the fuck up. Objection! <laughs> I understand. I understand. I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sort of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment! For what? What else? A channeling! I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed! Oh. Maya, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fate Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us! That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit! So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright! She said she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me? And that is why I've searched you out! You want to see her too, don't you? I was about to say why he built like an anime character, then I realized they're all built like anime characters. <laughs> and so, that is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. Korean Village. So this is Korean Village, Maya's hometown. 
Wh why hello there. Hmm, what an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly! Hmm, someone else is coming this way. Nick! But Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd show up, really show up. I... It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I'd known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well, anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's talk to her, I guess. <laughs> Looks like you finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Uh, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyways? The tabloids! That's what I thought. Haha, <laughs> I just blew your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazy killer as a client. That's too scary even for me. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yup! Kameen Village! But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were, were too, I think. That's probably true since the Fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about the girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl Faith, she's my cousin. Isn't he adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin? Wait, so that means she's also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. <laughs> nah, it's not you. My aunt just drilled into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. Suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Kareen Village. Aunt? Pearly's mother is my aunt. Duh, come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I gotta get going. It's about time for my channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Alright, good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Don't call her perky. <laughs> Don't call her Perky. After after what Dr. Turner Gray said, don't call her Perky. I got my eye on everybody. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it clean just for the rest of the episode. Okay. Ah, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such a guy to report on the public airwaves. <sighs> Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. <laughs> but anyways, this is a splendid manor. No argument there. It's hard to believe this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. How fucking big can it be? So good, Chatterley. What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit's been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my- It was all at once?! And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I am sorry and apologize for being negligent. That's when I'll have her right. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. Hey, fuck it, okay. <sighs> so, how did you hear about, uh, Maya Faye? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Korean School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is the daughter of the master I hear. Master? <laughs> anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Oh, fuck it. Fuck it, let's meet her. 
Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights, I guess they're candles. Marsha, who about you, me? Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good, sir. Good sir, is she talking about me? <laughs> You're a liar, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya? I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Ah, I wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? It tells me you've already forgotten that it was that was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistants, you surely would not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job? When did I become the poster boy for how to not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, uh, thank you. Shit, it's not what I want to do well. So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya! Uh, I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Uh, um, so, about Mystic Maya, um... It is the blood! Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master. In actuality, she's the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Korean channeling technique. Okay, then where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae Clan, I'm merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she could never become the master of the Korean school. So how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the loneliness of my power to the master's. So that's how it is. Ah, she sucks. <laughs> so today's channeling will be her first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong, it is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. The channeling will take place here in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. Tell me about this chamber. So this room is the channeling chamber? At the place where the spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observe this session? Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and her client may enter here. Oh. The secret of the Korean technique cannot be seen by just anybody. They never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir. If something were to go wrong, then that is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes, I wonder if you've yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She's an adorable, angelic young girl. Oh, that odd. She's my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? Uh, what a cute daughter you have. <laughs> a pure heart that knows not the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had a chance to, anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Right, right, I get it. Fuck. I don't want to talk to your creepy fucking daughter. Just winding away. June 19th, Fay Manor. Wow, this garden's really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? Looks a lot of a place in a garden like this. The side room. June nineteenth, Fame Manor side room. So this is the side room. Looks like uh, it's more of a break room. There's a bedding sheet out in the floor. Looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. Hey you, hold on. Uh. Hey you, hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Mm, I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. Oh my god, a lot of heart! 
What the actual fuck are you doing here? Hey now, I got a lot of questions to ask you. Well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't seen you in, what, a year? Um, you are, um... You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo! I'm the one and only paranormal photographer. Lot of heart! Ah, so I guess you're still at it? Uh, being a photographer, I mean? Of course! And today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. Now, this ain't no time to be wasting time. Now, the channeling's about to get started. Is it that time already? We all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting for? Come on! A lot of heart, huh? Been judging her harshly because of that case. <laughs> but I guess looking back, we had some good times, too. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. You'll now begin the channeling. Mystic Mayan, honored guests, please proceed into the channeling chamber. I'm there so I can finally swaddle those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, I would. Mr. Mayor, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it. Well, I'll be fine, Morgan. I won't lose it, trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go! Oh, I just remembered some bullshit we have to do at some point. Now let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw drunkingly large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny! Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear madam, you have an impressive rash of English. Where did you learn it? What? Out from the heart of the heartland! Is that so? Then I humbly request you return to this heart of the heartland. Yo, that's crazy. What are you? Yo, she said, where are you from? Why don't you get the fuck back over there? This is Green Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow, she shut Lana up. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. No, that was actually nuts. That was a bar. I'm stealing that shit. I'm stealing that line. Hey, now. What was that just now? Came from inside the channeling chamber. Bang again. Hey, that's a gunshot. Excuse me. I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. Maya, Maya's in there. Ask Maya what to do. Miss Faye, what should we do? Yellow belly, chicken liver! What are you waiting for? Kick it down already! But the key! The key is one of a kind in this world, there's only that one! Even I am powerless to open that door! Ah, uh, there's really no other way! Alright, stand aside, I'm gonna break the door down! But wait, please, that sort of recklessness! Yeah, now that's what I call being a man! Boom! 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 Damn! Dr. Gray! Click. Maya? That man murdered me! So I killed him. What? A lot of, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shops. Uh, but anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she? Maya? Shut away from that! Please leave this area to me! Get quickly and inform the police! But, but... Before there are more victims here! Uh, hey, let's go, city boy! Leave this to the granny! Yo, this shit's nuts. This is actually kind of crazy. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here, so I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And? They're on their way. That's good. Loudy, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her, I'm scared to death by what's going on. Yeah, that was kind of nuts. No, that was kind of crazy. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Well, there's two people. I ain't even gonna lie. Maya? No, I said I wasn't gonna say nothing. <laughs> so 
said, let's go keep it clean. Come on. Lana doesn't know that when Maya's channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. I was gonna say she looked like a baddie when she's getting possessed like that. Then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Uh, Lana, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. Uh, that's the one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts hollering. Uh, it must have been real rough to work, with, work for him. I know. Uh, go back to the meditation room, I guess? Ah, oh, Mr. Knight! Hey, Miss Faye, how is, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Oh, let me see her, please! She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Because I just have to wait. Release her here! Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> you again! Uh, what are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. Let's just sit tight, all right? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the seat of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, my name isn't Jim Shoe. The two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. So we already talked to Lotta, so you gotta go to the winding way. And then the side room? Hmm, pretty sure that someone was sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Uh, I'm, uh, that is, I... Um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like the channeling. Channeling? Oh, no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there's been a murder. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? But, yeah, a person's killed another person. Oh, that's, um, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like... It's like totally a bummer. Yeah, after all that effort, that's what she had to say. I'm sorry, I forgot to like introduce myself. My name's Eeny Miney. Um, at the college, I'm like researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people like usually call it occult studies or something. Like supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. Uh, I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. I ain't gonna say it. So what brings you here today? I'm like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. Um, he asked me, like, Do you know about a good spirit medium? Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause like, talking to dead people and like, multiple personalities are made thing. I see, then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put some in the food they serve for lunch. Oh, this isn't that fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep? I totally feel like I've wasted my time, because, like, I slept for, like, a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that, yeah, I, I totally knew nothing. So who was, like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray! Oh, really? And what was all that talk about him earlier? Uh-huh, well, um, I, uh, like, uh, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah. Sounds like she's trying to hide something. Um... Fuck if I know what to do about that. Like, at all. So I guess we move. <laughs> There's no one here as usual. Oh shit. Ack! Uh, hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. <clears throat> What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Um... Why does he move like that? 
Uh, what is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? There she goes. In the channeling chamber, maybe? The police are busily running here and there. I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Uh, don't look at me like I'm sort of some sort of uncaring jerk. I'll tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, all right? Uh, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but with the way things look now, she's uh, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room after all. Uh, but Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead! But... But... But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife! A knife? Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot. Okay, that does absolutely nothing for me. Um... Oh shit. Hey, bud. Um... Okay, so I guess doing fucking anything to her isn't an option. Can I present my attorney badge? Okay, doing absolutely anything just causes her to go fucking mental. I don't think I can really examine can I? Yeah, because it doesn't give me the like examine button. Maybe I'm supposed to well hold on, let me that's not what I wanted to do, hold on. Maybe I have to go back to Lana? No, let me go to the side room. Let me present my attorney badge. Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm not all that smart, so I don't, like, get it. Okay, that doesn't help. Uh... That's not what I want to do. I can present people. Yeah, absolutely none of this shit helps. Um, am I supposed to maybe present Maya? Is that what I'm supposed to do here? There's gotta be a way I can talk to her. Oh, here we go. I'll go back out here. <laughs> She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right by her. Lada. <laughs> hey, don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. What the fuck do I do now? You see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good to handle in this kind of thing. Uh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This is just too much, I say. What's too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now on? More glamour, less gore? What's up? Oh yeah! W what is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? I remember. I took some pictures of the murder scene inside. Ah, she did too, even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. A lot of... Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. It's cut and run, but I'm heading back in. I'll beat those cops to the scoop of the century. <laughs> I don't know who's scarier, a lot of the spirits. And why does it feel like we've been put through this before? Alright. Alright. Oh, do madam, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? <laughs> all right, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fey Manor tonight. 
Why? What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away the p by the police. I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. Alright. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll save the game. And I'm going to end the episode because we're at 30 minutes. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.